to actually place one's feet on the threshold of Aquarius, to be called an Aquarian means that we have the Aquarian vibration. It doesn't matter to me what path you're on, what teaching you follow, as long as it's not self-destructive or destructive to anyone else. Do what you will, because this is the age of freedom. But take the violet flame that is the gift of Saint Germain, the consuming fire of God that is our baptism into the new age, and take Saint Germain himself personally. Because this temple that we have, this body here below, needs to be filled with a violet flame because here are the records at the levels below the chakra of the heart of all past lives and embodiments. These need to be transmuted, and that's what the violet flame is. It's a flame of mercy, forgiveness, transmutation, alchemy, freedom, justice, all of those, and science itself. It's the flame of the priesthood of Melchizedek. Take the violet flame, blaze it through your temple, through your chakras, through your being. And every single day, patterns of the past that affect your present psychology, create present limitations, prevent you from being the fullness of all that you know you really are. Did you ever have a sense that you were scraping a ceiling about here? and that another part of you that is this fantastic infinite mind is right there and you want to scratch at that ceiling and get through? Well, that's the nature of limitation of karma that comes upon us. We get very limited in our ability to express and create and move forward and fulfill our reason for being because we're at the end of an age and we have accumulated a great weight of karma. We have also accumulated a great weight of positive karma which has ascended to that causal body above us. And in the process of doing that, we have built a momentum of our God presence upon that which was originally given to us. God's energy is neither created nor destroyed. It's a crystal clear stream. It never stops flowing. It flows through you and it takes on the coloration of your aura. If you have angry thoughts, it simply passes through you and it gets qualified with anger. If you have thoughts of profound peace in your meditation, you are radiating that peace to the whole world. The peace goes forth, it gathers more of itself, it returns to you and you are blessed by the multiplication of the spiral that you yourself initiated. So if it's not peace or if it's agitation of some sort, it goes out, gathers more of its, its kind and it follows the law of the circle. It returns to you. And then your body becomes burdened or out of balance or sick, or you shorten your life and so forth. So we are all creators continually. The trinity of the East, Rama, Vishnu, and Shiva is described as the creator, the preserver, and the destroyer, the destroyer in the sense of the transformer. If we don't like what we have created, we don't have to preserve it. We can call forth a violet flame and it will be transmuted and that energy can be transformed.